Safwan Chowdhury is a national spokesperson for the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat in Canada. He joins us now. I, I might add also that Safwan has been outspoken condemning all terrorist attacks in the past. So what went through your mind when you learned of this attack? Uh, well, Ken, as you can imagine, last night as we got the news, it was, it was, it was disbelief. It was actually hard to believe that this is actually happening in Canada. Uh, the news came uh, last night and, and uh, I learned through my social media feeds uh, and then the word traveled to the members of the community. So it was important for us to first quickly uh, issue a statement internally, let all members know that we are aware and we are monitoring um, and we're enhancing security. But as we got to learn the news more coming out of Quebec, it was disbelief, shock and horror. I mean, we, I, to my knowledge, we've never learned of anything this gruesome uh, in Canadian history as far as the Muslim community is concerned. Um, and, and obviously this news coming from Quebec City is heartbreaking. Uh, we got, immediately got in contact uh, with members of the community throughout Quebec. Um, I spoke to the Imam uh, in Quebec City myself and he assured me that he's okay and everything is fine. But um, of course, this news has uh, ripple effects throughout the country. Um, and we're right now just ensuring that everybody feels safe. All prayer services are resuming across Canada at all of our mosques. Uh, but as I mentioned, uh, under heightened security. Stefan, is there a growing anti-Muslim sentiment, Islamophobia, that you, that you would tie into the election of Donald Trump, his rhetoric and policies? Well, you know, I, I want to highlight the fact that here in Canada, um, our government has done a terrific job of coming out against uh, such language and discrimination and, and finger pointing. Um, and in Canada, there was no such fear. I mean, frankly, uh, as, as much as you see the odd incident of a window broken here or some graffiti there, nothing of this nature. Um, so it wasn't expected, and, and, but we trust that this is not going to be anything that's going to be ongoing in Canada. This is unlike anything that's happened in the past, and we trust that something like this, we don't expect to be an occurrence here again in Canada. You, you know, you've been very proactive, and, and I wonder if you can just briefly tell us about the Meet a Muslim campaign. Well, you know, any campaign that we've done in the past, we've done Meet a Muslim campaign, we've done Fast with Muslim campaign, we've done Coffee with a Muslim, Visit a Mosque. Visit a Mosque was one of our most successful campaigns. And any of these campaigns we do, can it, the, the focus is to help Canadians better understand their fellow Muslims, um, understand the faith, um, and see how many similarities we have and very few things that may not be in common. Um, and, 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 and that helps us break these barriers, answers any questions, help remove misconceptions and above all else provide a counter narrative uh, that we often hear which is fairly anti-muslim so we continue to do these campaigns in the face of this attack uh, we will go ahead we're already thinking about expanding some of the campaigns we have going right now um, particularly in quebec and and, and throughout the country um, as as i mentioned earlier we have mosques from newfoundland to british columbia um, and and prayer centers and, and it also helps keep our youth, our Muslim youth engaged, who right now are, many have taken time off and volunteering at the mosque right now because they want to be part of the security team and, and keeping a lookout to making sure that their mosque is safe. Safwan Chowdhury, a uh, pleasure to speak with you. Thank you. Thank you.